Greetings, welcome to Vanderbilt. I'm Rick Chandra. I'm just gonna give you a little information about the medical center today. Vanderbilt and Nashville occupy a part of the country known as Middle Tennessee. In addition to having every urban amenity you can imagine from the city itself, there are outdoor opportunities for biking, hiking, climbing, and water. This is a closer up view of the metropolitan area showing the Cumberland River as well as Anthem Parkland. The university itself is located very centrally in that metropolitan area. Also shown are iconic destinations such as the Belmede Winery, Bluebird Cafe, and in the upper right hand corner, the Grand Old Opry. Maybe these days, Nashville's most famous for its downtown. Its growing skyline is truly breathtaking with unique architecture, including the Batman building, or so it's called, shown here in the center. Nashville is also known specifically as Music City. There are many areas where performing artists come to play and get discovered and where you get to enjoy them, most notably Broadway. Here's an aerial view of campus. There you see the serene lawns and the plush trees that are emblematic of a college campus environment. The buildings have that classic architectural look. This instills a sense of calmness, and vibrancy at the same time. The campus is in this triangular area delineated by West End Avenue, 21st, and Blakemore to the south. The medical center component occupies this southeast quadrant of it. This is that area from a slightly different perspective with north being towards your right hand side. The clinic and hospital run horizontally on the west side of Medical Center Drive across the street from which is the Medical Center East building nestled between Medical Center Drive and 21st. Most of the departmental activities are located in Medical Center East. Here you're standing on Medical Center Drive looking southbound underneath the bridges that connect the hospital to your right, as well as that Medical Center East building, the glass one to your left. From 21st Avenue, that building is again seen there Along the curve of the building is a signage for the Bill Wilkerson Center, which is the Department of Otolaryngology. Our clinics occupy the seventh floor of that building primarily. I'm now walking across the bridge over from the hospital side into Medical Center East, and I'm going to take you to our clinic. Now we're approaching the adult otolaryngology clinic. As you can see, we have a diverse array of surgeons in this department and a wide variety of services offered and there's the door to the waiting room. A great deal can also be seen by looking out the windows from our offices in the back hallway. This is my office and we'll take you over here to the window. And first thing you see in the foreground is a playset. So it turns out that the Department of Communication Sciences and Otolaryngology at Vanderbilt uh, also uh, includes a school for deaf children that happens to be on the floor just beneath us here in Medical Center East. Further ahead in the distance you see the many trees that are emblematic of our campus and in the distance the skyscape of downtown Nashville. Coming over this way are some additional medical school buildings and uh, the one that is uh, now being zoomed upon where our anatomy labs are. Um, and where we do often have a surgical dissection course. The department is very proud of our history, tradition, and heritage. And for really a young department, there's been a lot of extraordinary accomplishments amongst the faculty. Some of these are archived in our waiting room. I'm gonna take you out there and show you that, but I'll be quiet as I'm doing the filming. We have patients out there. Okay, we're back. You probably noticed from the timeline that the department here didn't have a program until 1986. Since that time, there's been tremendous growth and expansion, including up to 50 full-time faculty members, 25 residents, 
and nine fellows spread across all of the subspecialty disciplines. The department has had multiple R01 research grants, including two that are now active in rhinology itself. We're honored for your interest in our medical center and this fellowship. We're very proud of both what the department has accomplished as well as the division. Nashville is a wonderful place to live and work, as is Vanderbilt. I regret you won't be able to visit us in person for this cycle of interviews. We hope you do have a chance to indeed come see what we have to offer in person at some point. We look forward to getting to know you better during your virtual interview. I know you know what it's like inside the operating rooms and clinics of an academic medical center because you train in one. I was hoping today to give you a feel for the city, the part of the country we're in, our campus, and some of the areas around our department. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, we look forward to seeing you soon, at least virtually. Best of luck in the match.